Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my products I've used up and MD's video. A lot of these products, I'm not going to lie, are products I'm using up. Most of them are like about gone. They're not completely gone yet, but they're basically gone. Like there's the slightest bit left. So now I'm going to get into my empties. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is this Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Serum with Avic Grow Lash Complex. And this is really good. I'm not going to lie to you, there's like the slightest bit left, but it's hard to get out, so I'm going to just throw it away and buy a new one. But it's just a really nice lash serum. And it does, it's for your lashes and your brows. And this does, I genuinely believe that this does make your lashes grow. Because it worked for me, it made my lashes grow a decent amount. And it's just really great. And it's by Rimmel, so you can get it at the drugstore. It's $9.99 or something around that. So basically $10. It's great. I'd pick it up if you're looking to grow your lashes and brows. And the next thing is a used to be like a YouTube cult favorite like it's a, something you usually buy when you start out and it's by elf and it's the original eyelid primer the one dollar eyelid primer and it's just a skin tone color but once you rub it on it's basically clear and you just rub it out and it's just goes clear it's okay it's not my favorite I have better ones that are also from the drugstore that work so much better. I'm just going to stick with those and I'm just going to toss this out. Next product, since I was just with you talking about a Roma product before that last one, I'm going to talk about something that is absolutely a thumbs down and is horrible. And that is the... Rimmel Gel Eyeliner Waterproof in Black. And it just looks like this. And I didn't finish this up. I used it maybe four times. It is horrible. It is not waterproof. Within an hour or two, it is on my under my eye. Under my eye. I didn't even put it in my waterline. And that's the thing that is shocking. That's why it's so shocking to me that it ended up under my eye and ended up looking so bad but it did not stay on whatsoever and it was just horrible it was kind of black but it wasn't the blackest in the world I've had blacker eyeliners and they have had eyeliners that worked a lot better tossing this out and then my next product to get off the negatives because I just talked about two negative products. I'm going to talk about the Out the Door Top Coat for Nails. And this is supposedly America's number one super fast drying. And I can't disagree with that. It's a great top coat. It does not dry out. It works about as good. It works just as good, if not better, than Sesh Feet. And it dries faster than Sesh Feet. And your nails stay on forever. And especially paired with a base coat, your nails are, will be on forever. I would check this out. I'd recommend checking it out. It's great. I'm almost out of it. I got this much left. And I'm trying to get through a lot of my products because I'm going to be moving soon and not just like close. I'm going to be moving to another state like South Carolina is where I'm going. So I won't be here anymore and... I, there's no point in taking products that I don't want. I'm trying to use up a lot of my products. Especially ones that I don't want to take. But here's the next product. And this is another bad product. It's the Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes Retractable Pencil. And this is in Lavish Brown. This does not stay on your waterline worth crap. It is poop and I'm throwing it out. And on to something I do like. This is the Rimmel Glam Eyes Day to Night Defined Length Slash Intense Volume Mascara. 
This is a really good mascara. If you're looking for like long wear or waterproof, this isn't for you, but it's great. Underneath of, I just put a waterproof mascara on top of it to seal it in. It dried out, that's the only reason I'm throwing it out, and it's, it's just a really good mascara. The first brush gives you length, and the second one gives you volume, and I do believe that this works, and it's a really good mascara, and I really like it paired under a waterproof mascara. And this is just in the color black, and I love it, but it's dried up, so i got to toss that out. And I don't think I'll repurchase it right now because I have other mascaras that I'm using right now. But eventually I probably will go back to it. And here is a product by Sedona Lace. And this is the Stick It To Em Eye Primer. And I bought this when I first started out with makeup like, like a couple years ago. So it's old, but it was, it was never good. It was like a bad primer and my eyeshadow did not stay on any longer. It has like a silicone type of feel to it, almost like a face primer. And it's just really bad and I've had it for so long it's probably expired and I'm just going to toss it out. Would not repurchase. And another product is the NYX Cream Eyeshadow in Chestnut. And I did not use this up. It's just really bad. And I'm just going to toss it out. It does not spread on your eyelid evenly or good whatsoever. I'm afraid to try the other ones because this is the only one I have of the Cream Eyeshadows by NYX. And it's just horrible. I don't like it. I will not repurchase. And next product I have is the Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara. And I didn't use this up either again once again because it is really bad. And it is supposed to be waterproof. Waterproof, it's not waterproof. It is terrible. It dries so slow, like it took forever to dry, and once it did dry, it still wasn't waterproof, and this is what the wand looks like. And I thought, because everybody was raving about the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I thought because this has similar shape, it would be similar and it'd be good or something. No. It, it's bad. It doesn't stay on, it's not waterproof, it doesn't do anything for my lashes on its own. No. Toss them back out. And here's something that I'm almost done with. I've had this forever. It's a pink with a splash, fresh and clean, all over body mist. I love this scent. It's great. It has a really good scent, and it's just... It just smells so clean. I'm gonna spray some on right now. It just smells fresh and clean, as the title says. And I have a bigger one of this that I'm almost done with too over there, but I'm not going to show it because I'm showing this little one. It's just really good and I will repurchase. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Tresemme Thermal Creations. Wait, no, I'm getting into hair products now. Well, I only have one hair product, so I'm going to talk about this one hair product that I have. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations heat protection up to 450 degrees heat tamer spray and I went through one of these and this is really good I will keep repurchasing I might try the like strength one or the keratin one next time but I love it I already have a backup and it's great next is a skincare product I have two skincare products the next one after this will be one two and this is the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. This is not the one that I used up. I threw away that one because I forgot that I wanted to do empties video. But this is the backup, and I'm almost halfway through this too. I love this toner. Love, love, love it. I started purchasing this a couple months ago, like I think around... 
around November or like September, something around that time, and I love it, and I've been repurchasing ever since. And it's just the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner, Fragrance Free, All Skin Types, Gently Cleanses, Plus Conditions, Pores to Maintain Clear, Smooth, and Balanced Skin Without Drying. I love this because it's so gentle and it's great for my extremely sensitive skin. I love it. It makes my skin feel soft and stuff even before I put on moisturizer. It feels moisturized. I love it. It's great. And I think this is clearing up my skin too. And the next product that I was using for my face is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin. My, in th throughout the winter I had horribly dry skin. It was like terrible. And this is it. It's like empty, basically. And it is... It said moisturizes, restores, and maintains protective skin barrier with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid works great with my skin, so before I was buying this in the winter, in the summertime I used another CeraVe moisturizer. It was just a moisturizing lotion. Love it. I'll probably repurchase the lotion in the summer, and I probably will do this again in the winter because I love it. CeraVe. Right now I'm using the Vanny Cream moisturizer, though. And I love that too, but I probably will repurchase this in the winter time. Again. And one more thing, and I think this is my last thing. And I purchased one of these, and this is the... I went, I went through one of these, and I like this. And it is the Curel Itch Defense Fragrance-Free Lotion for Dry Itchy Skin. Now, I have extremely sensitive skin on my body. I'm always itchy. I have eczema. I have like a lot of skin problems and this helps a lot with my itchy skin and my dry skin I used to not like this I but I think they changed the formula because when I I tried it about a year ago when I first moved in this house so that was a year ago and I didn't like it it didn't work for me it did nothing for me it did not a thing and I purchased it recently again I went through this is my backup. I threw my other one away because I kept, like I said, I forgot. This, I bought another backup. This is my one that I'm using right now, and it's just great. It said it has rebalances four components of healthy skin. I think this does help my skin be healthier and not as itchy, even though I have dry skin from the winter time. This works for my skin. Usually I'd have to use a heavier cream or body butter, but this seems to be, ow. This seems to be moisturizing enough for my skin right now, and it's just doing great, and it's helping my skin be healthier, and I love it. Will repurchase every time. And that is the end of my empties video. See you guys later. Bye.